Hello everyone, so I finally got some time to finish up this video and explain a few things because there's been a lot of questions like uh, why the ship is empty, where are the people, why there's nobody on board, uh, why all the pictures and the videos that I'm posting are without a people, like literally, like as you can see there's, there's nobody. And there is a reason actually why I've done it and I've done it on purpose. So stay throughout the video. First of all, I would like to mention that this ship has been out of the service since uh, Corona started. So I've joined like 17 days ago. We've got another 7 or 8 days to go before we get uh, guests on board. And um, in the meanwhile, we are doing a lot of um, cleaning, testing, checking, uh, new implementations, etc. You will see in the next few videos all the things that uh, we've been doing on board. So it doesn't matter which department you're working in, everybody needs to maintain their area of work, everybody needs to maintain their area of living. Since we have a medallion on board, it's a new system that it made our life and our guests' life uh, so much easier and thanks to everybody who were involved in the installation of the beautiful medallion for helping us out so we are uh, in the next few days and in the, in the past few days we've been uh, testing our venues to check if everything is working prof uh, properly uh, getting the crew into the routine and the things what we have to do and um, just practicing putting the crew in the positions, uh, changing the restaurants, uh, doing uh, small and major repairments, testers, we do have a crew drills constantly, but uh, it's very helpful and it's really, really important to know where to go and what to do in a case of emergency. So this has been a completely different experience since I've been nearly 15 years in a company, of course, as you all know what we've been through we haven't experienced something like this so it's good to be back after a certain time and uh, I am actually happy because this ship will be going to South America at one point in January um, and later on we're gonna go to Antarctica which I'm really looking forward because I haven't done Antarctica and I actually I haven't done even some of the countries in South America so that's gonna be quite interesting getting into the new places so whoever wants to hop on on a Sapphire Princess is more than welcome and we do have these lovely uh, people that they are doing uh, these major repairments and then we have to go and clean after them all over and all over again but everything is coming back in its place everything is nice and shiny everything is uh, uh, as it's supposed to be according to the United States Public Health so you can see even how deep and intense is this uh, cleaning and that we are going really into the details to get everything done properly before we get a new guests on board so 24th of September we're getting the first guests I'm really looking forward to that uh, invocation I'm getting uh, really excited about getting these uh, swimming pools full of water so we can finally get to enjoy some sun 
I will keep posting videos of the things that it's happening in the future. Stay tuned and I love you all.